Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video, I'm taking you guys another exploration run, which is what I'm doing right now. I've already been pretty lucky. Look at what's in my cargo bay. It's a uh, eight type small armor repair from a three out of 10. And uh, the ship I've been flying is the Explorers. It's been a long time. And uh, one thing that I've been uh, changing up here is I actually ungroup my missiles. And I must say, uh, while it is probably not always the most effective way of uh, dealing your damage on your targets with the Explorers, this does feel a lot more uh, fun and interactive basically. So uh, right now I just found a, a Sancha Vigil. We'll see uh, how we can handle that one because generally speaking uh, this is actually not one where we need to do a lot of spread damage. I will start repping uh, preemptively because of course I do rush these vigil sites. It's actually pretty important that you don't waste too much time. And the incoming DPS here is pretty significant. So you just click to uh, go together with the gate. Then we're gonna launch all our missiles on the targets. We're gonna add our drones here. And there is the first volley now. It's not that much damage, but if you remember, the auto jackdaw did take quite a bit of a beating from that initial volley. So that is why I was repping beforehand. Then the aim is to destroy the security tower. Be ready to recall your drones. And then we'll go into the second room as a second big volley just hit us. And you can see here, 74% shields. It's quite a bit of alpha damage, so you gotta be a little bit careful with this. Uh, second room in the Explorers, I think it's not a problem to just go straight after the Stasis Web Tower with all missiles as well, which means that I should actually just quickly group them up here. Go like that, start moving, definitely add a little bit of speed to this. And let's see how many volleys of my precision missiles we need to take out that tower. Shouldn't be more than two apparently. There we go. Then we've got these drones and we have the true Sasha, which you want to uh, well, try to approach. He does sometimes spawn in pretty annoying places. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I can actually hit this drone with the missiles. And then keep an eye on the... Yeah, drones, uh, missiles are not doing much of anything. I'm gonna save, try to save a little bit of cap here as well. Meantime, the web drones are on me, so we're gonna take out the targets with our missiles, and then we'll probably try to take out some extra enemy DPS. Oh, okay, he's making a run for it. That won't succeed. 23 kilometers, that's still pretty far away though. So drones on these guys. And then let's see if we can take some DPS off the field because, well, it's a vigil. It is the most challenging uh, site, I think, uh, Heisek exploration site that you'll find amongst the Sancha ones. Just because of the sheer incoming DPS. And here in the second room as well, uh, part of the problem is the webbing that happens. And you can see now, oops, they're also going after one of my drones. That's not so good. Well, actually, yeah, they're going through the armor. So we're going to recall that one. Then we'll see if we can uh, take some of that non-loyal DPS. That's a loyal. That's a loyal. The others are, uh, should be able to one-shot, but those loyals, they'll take a little bit too much time. So let's keep going. That final drone should go down as well. Manslayer, you're next. Finally, it's down. I can speed up towards my loot. Hopefully, it's a good one. We'll recall the drones. And uh, yeah, my cap does get tested here. You'll see these loyal guys. I'll just hit those with the missiles. Yeah, no one shots. At least it's a decent amount of DPS with the precisions uh, to run through the shields in one go. But just look at the amount of HP that they have and the resistances. Um, takes a bit of effort to actually take those guys out. They like to go after your drones as well. Let's press loot all. Ah, it's nothing unfortunate, but that's the name of the game. Let's move on to our next target system. And still, look at that. I'm trying that DPS on that uh, loyal plague and it just doesn't want to die. So let's reload. Let's see what else we can find. And uh, this is a showcase for the Explorers. Not the very best of ships, but it's got great damage application, of course, uh, with 
probably the best uh, combination that you can have when it comes to PvE, missiles and drones. Which, uh, you know, the reason I'm flying this one actually is because it is very close to the Caracal Navy issue, which after the rebalance should find itself in a very similar position. But I'm basically hoping for a better shield tank on that one. Because here, sure, the Explorer has a lot of HP, but it doesn't have the capacitor to keep repping even on this medium shield booster for now. So it is not the best one for that uh, PvE tank, basically. So let's see what we've got here in this second system. Unfortunately, uh, no good drops. So we'll get started on finding uh, what's available here. And then what I'll also do is we'll try to head towards that Concord billboard. Uh, just to uh, show you guys the Triglavian uh, message that uh, keeps going as well. If we get close enough. If not, yeah, Nail normally is the system where it happens naturally. I must have spawned on the wrong side of the gate for it not to happen this time. Let's get back to combat and see what we've got. Local 7, that's actually quite a lot for this system. So that does not bode well for finding more good stuff. Like that. And then we start to listen a bit as well to the background noise. Not yet, it seems. Oh, it's a combat site. Okay, interesting. If it's a good one, then we'll have to rush, of course. And still no trike left. Ooh, a nation occupied mining colony. That is perfect. So, man, this is the. Uh, so, we've got Dital, Chunka, Tashinas, Dira, and now Nail. This is the fifth system that I'm checking, and potentially this is my fourth good combat site. So, let's see. Let's go as quickly as possible. Sorry, Triglavian message. You'll have to, uh, to come a little bit later. Nope, on the warp out. Didn't catch anything. And then we'll see. Um, what we can do here. I'll definitely start by loading my heavy missiles because the missiles go after the uh, cruisers and then the precision missiles uh, are for the frigates but in the, in the nation's uh, occupied colony uh, basically you want that cruiser DPS. So let's get the heavy missiles out. Drones are ready. Shields are replenished. Cap is back as well. So we should be good to go. Here is the gate and yeah, local is a bit high though. There is there's a good chance that there's someone else here as well. But let's take a look. Go, go, go. Explorers warp. There we go. And it looks pretty good. I still ooh, I'm lucky. I am so lucky. And so now I'll try to show you guys what I mean. Um, first of all, you saw it already. They love to aggro my drones, so I'm already hesitant to start off by uh, deploying my drones straight away because they'll just go after them uh, anyway. So what I'm doing here now, trying to take out some of these cruisers, you can see here, pretty good application. First volley, second volley, and uh, that first cruiser is done. I think it's because it still doesn't have any speed. It's not going to stay that easy. At this point, I can deploy my drones. And I can start sending them after some of these frigates. But the drone DPS is not that high. And so it is going to take a little bit of time to, uh, to run well. Man, two of them in armor as well. And now, I mean, this situation, sure, this, this uh, enemy frigate goes down and I need to target the next one. But this feels slow. Not very active the way this explorer uh, actually flies here because I, I just have to let my missiles slowly cycle take out their target and then um, I don't feel too comfortable with spreading my drone DPS because it is pretty slow uh, if I do that and so yeah that doesn't feel too good so what I was actually working on was to spread my missiles out and uh, for instance let's see how one of these missiles uh, against these cruisers, we'll do two on these, and then let's see how my heavy missiles go after one of these frigates. And now uh, this feels a bit better. You've got missiles going all over the place. You get a uh, do a little bit of repping as well. And those guys, they will get broken uh, by this. There's more targets 
being destroyed by my DPS. And then after that, at least I've got some more stuff to do. Now, these heavy missiles don't work too well on that target. Let's move that one over here. And now at least I can, I can start working on the next cruiser. My drones, they're taking their own little target, so that is quite fine as well. Normally one last volley on that one and he will be down. Good. Are there more cruisers to take on? Yep. Let's start targeting those. Three missiles on that one. One on that one. Let's get started on this one as well. That volley will be enough. And so now with this uh, ungrouped, I personally feel like it's a bit more fun, uh, a bit more engaging to, uh, to be flying around here and to be trying to take out the site with efficiency because... You get more stuff to do, you're more busy going after the different targets. Uh, also, something that you should definitely uh, keep uh, an eye out for then as well is try to go after those further uh, targets with your missiles first, because that's going to save you on some drone travel time. So this is working out pretty well. Those cruisers are, most of them are going to die around the same time. We're going to add DPS to the final cruiser we just arrived at the gate we can stop prepping for some extra cap we can start applying our dps on the right targets go 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 so now it's actually full missiles on a mutilator at 20 who is the right target my drones are going after the final frigates as well which is correct and now we can just try and speed things up by launching some heavy missiles at the frigates that's not the best of course uh, it's a bit more work as well if you want to really get the most out of it but then now we can do reload all return our drones and we are ready this site has been done and the second part after the ungrouping to be honest felt a bit more engaging a bit more fun to do for me personally so when i'm using a missile ship like that personally it's just my own uh, my own feeling here i do like to have them ungrouped to go after the different targets and uh, just try to uh, yeah eke out that little bit more efficiency if that's even possible in this situation of course next up we have the true sancha foreman he is our main target so we're going to approach him right away activate afterburner full missiles on him all of those can go at their pace at my drones and then uh, maybe we can try a cruiser and take a couple of these frigates just to get a bit more DPS off the field because it is going to start to flood in of course and look at that true Sancho foreman with all those missiles it is a good amount of DPS from this uh, exploratress he is done already let's go after that loot missiles on the cruiser drones can do their thing and let's start wrapping, of course. That is something I have to uh, keep in mind. We do have a decent amount of HP, but the resistances are not perfect. And the wrapping is not that good either with uh, not being cap stable. It's a bit more risky, so you do have to hurry up a little bit. So we're going to get pretty close now to the loot. It's at... Yep, yeah, we can cut this one out. Focus on taking that loot. I'll actually load... Ah, it's empty. That's quite unfortunate. Uh, let's start flying in a different direction. And then lower the bill is actually our next target. And then on all of them... Oh, did I just launch my missiles? That was actually a misclick on my part. But let's get out of here. That was a pretty efficient 4 out of 10 as well. Unfortunately, no loot again. Um, so all of them... I do want the precision missiles back just in case and that is yeah the exploratress we're gonna do a couple more systems just uh because i've been so lucky with the combat side already as i've said five systems four combat sites already that is pretty damn cool and uh, trying to have some more fun i do really enjoy this aspect of eve online here uh very solo friendly very casual friendly and of course you can also go at your own pace if you get lots of time do a lot of systems find yourself a nice big route uh, around your home in order to uh, be able to uh, do lots of systems or if you don't have a lot of time just you know take four or five systems um, and uh, you'll be fine as well so let's see what these two signatures are and let's see if we can actually find the billboard ah, it's quite far away again with only two signatures i should be able to um 
get those quite quickly, but we'll try. We'll try to get the Triglavian message up and running. And it also doesn't feel actually fast, this uh, Explorers. I love the ship just because of uh, it, how tanky it feels. Uh, it does feel a bit like a brick tank that's uh, gonna take a lot of time for uh, the rats to try and break it. So you've got plenty of time uh, in order to uh, uh, to know to escape uh, if, if it's uh, just too much for the ship. But it's not fast, it's not a great wrapper. It does have great damage in my opinion. So let's see what this one is. In the meantime, I use the afterburner, so we should really be... There we go, approaching, yeah, should be approaching that. Let's get it out within the 10 kilometers. And let's see if we get the audio. Yeah, slowly in the background, you can start to hear it. That's unfortunately two wormholes. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear it very well, because the in-game audio is a little bit uh, low. But here is a Triclavian message on the billboards. Uh, really, really cool. You can imagine people that know, don't know about the spoilers, they might be like, what the hell is happening here? And we move on to the next system. Um, as I usually do with these uh, more uh, loose exploration videos, we'll keep going until I get back home to the tal where I will definitely park my loot. Just one of these sites has already dropped something really good that makes my evening. So it's all good no matter what we find in the next few systems here. And then the agency keeps pinging. I'm not sure why we've got... Oh! An escalation site. True power shipyards. One jump away in a... Hmm. Okay. Still one jump away. Let's set the destination. Uh, true power shipyard. Show info. Do, can I see what the site itself is? No. All right. Well, an escalation actually. So I am going to scan this system quickly just to see what we're talking about in here. Uh, did I forget my probes? No, we're all good. So up we go and I will go take a look at that shipyard. I actually don't know what to expect there, but if it's an escalation from... Is it the Vigil that escalated or is it the 4 out of 10? It might be too much and I will see <laughs> if the Explorers can handle something like that. Uh, these yeah, don't look hard enough to, um, to be of any real value. But then it's in Enum apparently where I've got a... I don't know, is it a 6 out of 10? If it's one of those shipyard things, I'm not sure. We will soon find out. I'm really used to my little niche here. Vigils, 3, 4 out of 10s. Good loot, pretty easy to do, pretty smooth. And uh, mostly these escala uh, escalations actually end up in, in null sec or low sec. So I'm pretty hesitant to run these, especially when I'm recording. Um, but now... Actually, in, uh, in high sick. Okay. This combat site's probably nothing good either. Well, Haunted Yard is not bad. We've got some drone loot there that potentially can be very good. Sancha Hideout, yeah, as expected. And then that final one. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, it does, yeah, again, it says combat site when uh, I'm scanning with such uh, such wide probes. I don't think it's going to be too good. So we're actually going to start warping to Enum. And it's another haunted yard. There could be good loot in there, but we're going to skip it. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that. What the hell is it? A true power shipyard. Uh, normally I'd go to like a website to see what I, I have to expect here. But this time 
Uh, it's been going so well. We're gonna take a look at it. Act uh, neutralize the secret enemy sites. Okay. Warp 2. Let's see what we're dealing with. If I have to, then we'll warp the hell out. Do I get a warning or something? No. Okay. No message or anything like that. What we'll be running into if uh, if it's uh, more difficult than a 4 out of 10. So I'll have to be on my toes. Uh, okay. Weird. Cannot, yeah, all right. Let's go like that. Uh, there does seem to be a deep space outpost here at 14 kilometers. Let's fire our first missile at it. That does seem to be a trigger. Uh, this true Sancha. Okay, so we're gonna have to approach that one. Uh, let's see how my missiles can handle these little guys. We'll add this. Uh, go straight after the juggernaut. This seems to still be doing okay. Uh, the Loyal, of course, has lots of HP. My drones are doing have... I'm gonna take out the Loyal first. Just because it can be pretty tough. So we're just gonna keep pouring our missiles into those guys. Uh, shields still doing somewhat okay, but I'm gonna do some preemptive repping. Cruiser is slowly breaking. More missiles on the Loyal Slave Hunter this time. Fire all missiles at him. Blap, he's down. You didn't... Hold on. What does it say here? You didn't find 300 afterburners to fill the true power order, but you guess that if you don't tell the guy, no one will. Not sure what this buzz was supposed to sound like. You heard a loud beep and some crackling. Trinity of missiles control modules at another location. What the hell? Uh, see. All right. So we're going back after that outpost. Nothing good. Just dropped here. And let's orbit this. Let's see. Not sure what this buzz was supposed to sound like. You hurl a loud beep and some crackles on the prescribed frequency. And a second later, the true power foreman descends on you again. Okay. With curses and insults. Perfected by generations of pirate foremen after a while. Ooh. Okay. Uh, more targets. Definitely gonna have to skip to them. Start the repping. Group. Heavies. Mono draws to an end and he tells you to go and pick up... Oh, so... For some reason... The foreman seemed to believe that I was... Uh, basically working for him. Ooh, loyal fiends. Uh, yeah, let's actually switch that out. Because those guys take a while to break. And uh, let's be ready to get the hell out of here if we have to. Because it's probably going to start to be a bit more risky. I do want to take out uh, the outpost though. Okay, next one. And another loyal. Alright, drones, destroy that one please. Man, 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 man. Yeah, this will not be too easy. A specter should be pretty easy to kill. So let's take that DPS off the field first. I'm wrapping all out. Okay, that guy is repping, so uh, he'll break. And now full DPS on the first loyal fiend. Keep orbiting that. And then let's... Oh, yep, there we go. We've got something else here as well. Seven jumps away. Let's set the destination. We can just stay in high six, so that is good.
the incoming DPS is lower, so we can save a bit of cap at this point. Alright. It's probably the first time that I'm doing this site, so that's why I'm being quite careful. But for now, the Exportress is handling that quite nicely. And then seven jumps. We've been going for 26 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. Should I do it? We'll see. We'll see. I, normally, you know what? Normally, I would just be going there and I would explore all of these, <laughs> all of these systems as well, looking for some more good stuff to uh, to find. But for now, you can definitely tell that these loyal guys have a lot more HP and resistance, so they take quite a while to take out. Let's take the final one. Firing missiles. Sunshine Dead Space Outpost. Can I even break that? Hmm. Because I've already poured a decent amount of DPS on it. You notice that of this facility are sending out a call for help. One which is answered instantly by someone claiming to dispatch a fleet... Oof, probably is a good idea to get out before all hell breaks loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're actually gonna follow that advice from local here. Um, I'll fire a couple more missiles, but the drones are in. We are aligning to upper the bill so that we can get the hell out if we have to. And that's more stuff that's... Well, it's a lot of loyals, as you can tell here. So we get more fleets incoming. Can I break that? Go, go, go. Does it drop any loot? Didn't really see anything. So, no. I did take it out. But I don't think that there was anything too good here anymore. Alright, so seven jumps to the next one. Let's do a quick reload. Um, if you want to feel safe, group up. It gives you more time. <laughs> group up your, your guns. It gives you a bit more time to uh, to basically react to what might be happening on the screen. If you want more fun and engaging, ungroup them and try to go after things like that. So now we're talking about Varna in the Bleaklands. Okay, we'll we'll still do that part and then we'll see if there's uh, what happens in that site. Love the lava planet here. Pretty cool. So Ladia, that's a place I normally do check as well, Udala as well. But then, Daridan. So Yudela. Oh, Hati. Okay, I know that one. But then Jarkolon and uh, Ron. I don't really know those. Those are not normally on my routes. And so, agency pop-up means that you've got an escalation site. Another true power shipyard. It doesn't say very much. There could be... I've, I'm not sure CCP is working on uh, the agency window. So you do have the map here. That is pretty cool, of course. I can see where I'm going. I can see if stuff is available nearby. But then, if I click on this, honestly, I'd love to get like a bit more information on what to expect. Uh, especially for newer players, you could say, well, you'll want um, a cruiser or you'll want a battle cruiser, or you want a battleship, or you want a fleet, perhaps, for really tough stuff. Um, all of that sort of information gives you a bit of indication uh, what to expect might be cool, rather than to have to look out of game for all of that information, or to go in blind, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna put in the precision missiles again. If it's another uh, similar site to the one that we just saw, then um, it actually makes sense to go with precision missiles and actually take out these frigates of the first wave. After that, in come the cruisers, of course. And then we need the real DPS of the heavy missiles. So, decent amount of signatures available here. So I still have some exploration to do tonight, for sure. And uh, considering how it's been going, well, loot-wise, not that great. But when it comes to activity, pretty good. The exportress is happy. So Hati, couple more jumps. 
Someone's actually coming in with a bow head. Okay. Probably the biggest ship you can see in Isaac. Next one. Three here, local nine. Let's take a quick look at this. Man, I'm actually, if you look at, uh, all of these look like they do potentially uh, hold good sights because of the size of them compared to the size of the system. These two seem identical actually, if you look at them like this in circumference and the third one as well, but they look big enough to be promising. So I'll have to come back here. I'll have to take a look at all of these. What's happening here? Yeah, Sanchez Nation doesn't like it when you destroy all their foremen, of course. And here, uh, only one in local, two signatures. One that's quite a lot bigger. The small one is, is not going to be anything good, but uh, QMU might be good, actually. And then here, we've got the warp two from here. Point 0.5, so we are still safe, which is quite a bit of a surprise. And it's not a true power shipyard. So honestly, I'm expecting the same site. I'm not entirely sure. Final jump, two in local, you can always take a quick look, to this gonna be crap, right? Both of these really small in uh, circumference here. Uh, the system might be quite big, so we're in for a pretty long warp, I think, 180 AU. Um, but this is just too small, so this is basically not worth it uh, if you were actively exploring. You can see that right away. This is maybe a wormhole maybe a couple of really bad combat sites but it's really very unlikely uh, to be worth your time so we're moving on to our escalation and yeah halfway there so this is definitely a long warp also shows that the explorers isn't that fast this this doesn't feel fast it actually feels like i'm not sure it, if it's the case, but if I'm uh, roaming around in the Ishtar or if I'm roaming around in the Gila and especially of course in the Explorers, I move to those systems way faster the destroyer that is normal of course uh, but this one does feel uh, bulky it's got the tank uh, with it uh, because of its bulk but uh, yeah doesn't feel too nimble and I'm basically hoping to find in the Caracal Navy issue uh, one that's gonna uh, give that bit of a better feeling and that more potential I'm curious I'm curious after the uh, the rebalance in April I'm definitely grabbing myself a Caracal Navy issue and uh, taking a look at it uh, from the same perspective so final system here three signature couple of people in local we've got our escalation sites let's do warp two we are ready for the frigate wave which we're, which we're expecting five in local we'll take a quick look at these uh, potentially again you get a couple of bigger ones compared to the small ones so it might be good but we're here for that escalation And what are we landing into? Same thing. Yep, exactly. Except that the base is now a tower. Or is it these things? Uh, power conduits. Now it's probably gonna be the Sasha Yard at 10 kilometers. Okay. Firing first missile. Any attention? Am I seeing anything happen in local? Alright, couple more then. 
Uh, okay, that's not really the wave that I was expecting. Uh, but there is a true Sancha again. Let's keep approaching that one. Quick switch to the heavies. And these are loyal as well. Well, we're actually going to rush this guy first. Let's go. True Sancha, reload, reload, reload. Start repping. Blow him up. That one. And then all the others are loyal. So this does feel... And again a beep comes out. Okay, let's see if we can snipe this out. Uh, let's go like that. Actually gonna keep the precision again. See if we can make it in time or not. Burst of speed. Loot all. Ooh, that is nice. And basically I think what you can afford to do is to just get the hell out of here. But maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll try to break this. Uh, where is the shipyard? Or the yard? Right here. Orbit at 5k. That worked pretty well last time. Um, but again, look at these loyals. And now it's all of them are basically loyals. So this is going to be tougher. And I'm starting to carry a bit more in value. So <laughs> I do want to get out with my loot at this point. They're going after one of my drones as well. Alright, that one is down. And be careful of local messages. If they tell you to run, I think it's a good idea to actually run. We're going to keep the precision missiles for now. Let's see how we can... Uh... And what was... That almost looked like a battery or something might be hitting me, but doesn't seem to be the case. And I will... Oh, we'll take a quick look at this as well. Another 0.5. Oh, ah, that one is 13 jumps away. I'm not gonna force... Ah, you could go 3 jumps if you go through low sick. Is that how it works? Yeah. It's something that I wouldn't do, personally. I would not go through low sec uh, just to shave off a little bit of time to uh, to get safely to uh, another escalation site. I'm also not going to force you guys to get through uh, 13 jumps before I get there. So uh, we are going to call it after I take another look at this site. But it's not a yard. It is different though. You can see uh, a bit harder again. Uh, lots of loyals this time. Better potential in loot. That is pretty awesome. And uh, then... Let's go after this one. We'll see what happens if I fire at the Sancho Yard a bit more as well. So take that loyal fiend out. Come on. What's my missile count looking like? Because I have been firing quite a few of them. Let's do a quick stack all. Go to the top. Alright, we still have plenty, so that should be okay. I'm pretty sure that the true Sancha is always uh, the potential loot. So next go, let's go to a line to run and let's see... Oh, let's not waste too much of that and see what kind of a spawn comes in if we keep firing at that Sancha yard. I'll let them do some more. Come on. But I am aligned. Let's see if anything happens. Good hit. He's in structure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. You get the message again. They're trying to save themselves. It's too late though. We're burning this Sasha installation to the ground. And I'm just gonna... Wait and see if there is still a response fleet. Not really seeing it. Maybe we blew them up before. Well, this does say that the signal is out. But, uh, alright. Well, interesting. I'm going to keep going um, with this escalation. But uh, there you go, guys. Some more exploration fun in EVE Online. This was the Explortress. As you can see, it's got its strength and its weaknesses. Uh, the fit will be, if you're interested in that, quick show of it as well. But the fit will be down in the description of the video as well. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.